This is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, apologize for the um, for the shaky video ahead of time. For some reason, my I've done these before, and my mount um, for whatever reason today it's shaking a lot. But um, anyway, um, I wanted to give people an idea of what I actually do. I'm constantly getting people that are like, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that to make the Fortnite videos better, to make this game video better, that game video better, and I think I've mentioned it to quite a few people, but um, I, uh, I, don't, I don't have a lot of time to put into each of the game videos. Um, most of these systems, I mean, if I do, most of those game videos take, you're in, I mean, you're into it in an hour. By the time, by the time you get into Fortnite or whatever game you're playing, and um, you respawn a couple of times to get the video that you actually want. Um, you, you pull the video off the computer, toss it onto your editing rig, encode the video, and then throw it up on YouTube. Yeah, you're into it a good hour plus in many cases, sometimes more than that. Some of the longer videos I do will take, you know, 30 minutes to encode and another, you know, two hours to upload to YouTube. So by the time I'm done with it, I'm, I'm into it quite a bit of time. But um, the reason I don't have a lot of time to do the game videos is because, like I've mentioned on a lot of the comments, um, these are quick demos. Um, they're meant for, I, I'm glad people on YouTube appreciate them and that people actually want to see the stuff, but the primary purpose of these videos is so that my local buyers can get an idea of what they're buying. And this is what I'm doing. So I'm delivering these systems all over the state. This is uh, Washington State. And uh, I deliver these machines out to areas where, I mean, there's lots of, uh, of, of mid-range, you know, used gaming systems in big metropolitan areas, you know, like Seattle, for example. Dang, that does not want to stay still. Um, but uh, in the, the outskirt areas, you know, the areas of Washington, you probably we don't hear a whole lot about, um, there's not as much selection. You can't, a lot of these people, they want the same systems. You know, you, you got people out in far off cities that want the same systems that the people in Seattle do, but there isn't hardly any of it out there. So I deliver systems out to those smaller cities that are, you know, two, three, sometimes four or five hours from Seattle. Um, it, uh, it costs me a little more to do it, but I sell so many more systems that it, it more than makes up for the extra cost. But, um, so that's why most of my time goes into doing these deliveries. Um, most of the time can't be spent on, on creating gaming videos, but I still want to give people an idea of what they're buying, so I do do the videos. Um, this particular delivery is for a sale out in a little town called Wenatchee. Um, I guess it's not a little town. It's not a big town, though. I don't know. It's probably like a, I don't know, one of those like 20,000 population towns, something like that. It's, it's, it's a big town. It's a small town, but it's a big town in the middle of nowhere. Um, but uh, I've got to go over this mountain pass to get there. I don't even have cell reception right now or anything like that. Um, in fact, this drive, you've got about an hour of no cell reception. And it's really a bad thing to break down on this road because there is, depending on what time of day you're here, I've been on this road at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, and at those hours, there's almost nobody else on this road. I've had, I've had nights where I've come home from Wenatchee uh, at like 1.32 in the morning, and I will literally see not a single other person on this road. And as you can see, even right now, the uh, the uh, the traffic is pretty sparse. And this is this is the middle of the day. It's uh, it is 3:27 p.m. Pacific time right now. So this is this this would normally be like your height of traffic. And there's there's nobody here. There's nobody on this road. Um, but it is an absolutely gorgeous drive. Um, right now the sun's out, and, uh, yeah, that's a gorgeous drive. Sorry for the sun interfering with the camera a little there. It's gonna get that nice here, too. And 
this is what I do. All of these systems, most of them do not go to Seattle. Most of these systems end up going, I mean, some of these, some of these areas that I deliver to, I am the only game in town. There is nobody else regularly selling systems in some of these areas. Um, you know, most of these systems, they'll go to Wenatchee, they'll go to, you know, another, another medium-sized town, uh, like Yakima, or, uh, like Bellingham out towards, actually, I'm going to be out towards Bellingham, uh, right on the, uh, U.S.-Canada border, uh, probably tomorrow, actually. Now, most of these systems... Once I factor everything in, delivery and everything, I'm making $150 to $250 per system. And that has to cover everything. That has to cover paying for these cars, which, I mean, I, I, I spend a ridiculous amount of money on my cars. Keeping, providing transportation to make this all work is not cheap. Um, uh, I drive about 50,000 miles a year or more. I think last year I was averaging like 60, 65K uh, for the year. And um, it, it, it eats cars, <laughs> literally. Uh, the, the vehicle that I'm in right now, I, uh, I just picked up uh, off Craigslist. I buy all my own stuff off Craigslist. Um, uh, this is a, uh, a 2008. I'm actually going to do, I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, technology de uh, videos with this car, I actually bought this car for doing uh, technology installs on. So I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a computer and a few other cool gadgets in it. But um, this this is a 2008 Honda Civic uh, two door coupe that I picked up off Craigslist for thirty five hundred dollars out in uh, Portland, Oregon. <clears throat> when I go car shopping, I can't. I'm I'm used to driving all over the state. And, and into other states. So to me, a drive to Portland is really no big deal. Um, so I'm used to casting when, a pretty wide net when I go buy, go to buy a car. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the car, uh, it's a nice car. It's, uh, it's, it's straight. It's not beat up. It's, everything's in good condition. Everything works. And it's only got 120,000 miles on it. 08 Civic, uh, 3,500 bucks. Um, and it replaced my old two-door Civic, which was a 2007, that had 310,000 miles on it from doing these deliveries. I've got a brand new 2017 Civic, but I really am trying not to utterly and completely destroy that car with the miles that I, uh, that I put on them. Looks like we have a little bit of traffic coming up here. For anyone that actually watches these videos, um, I'm going to eventually get the gaming stuff a little bit better. I'll eventually get it to the point where I can show real frame rates not interfered with by the recording or anything like that. But the only way I can see being able to do that is if you have a, um, a, uh, a, uh, like an HDMI pass-through type device to capture the video after it comes off the computer. Um, and, uh, I just, I have a lot of other projects I'm working on that are, to have taken priority over trying to get something like that because once I do that then I have to go do uh, I gotta go do you know I gotta go get some sort of video recording software that works which it's probably simple but I just I haven't had a chance to figure out getting it all set up
Well, anyway, I don't want to sit here and bore people too long with the uh, with the video, but um, I uh, hope this gives everybody an idea of what I actually do, what these systems are actually for, um, and uh, I hope people find this video interesting, and uh, thanks for watching.